tired of losing viewers too early in your videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add eye-catching graphics so you can skyrocket your audience retention. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so in order to add graphics to your YouTube videos, you wanna make sure that you can find a place that houses all of those resources, right? So the easiest way that I found to do this is to just have a video editing software that includes all of those resources, such as GIFs, photos, and all of those different things, right? And that's very, very helpful, and it's also cost efficient because you're not like having all these different softwares that you gotta go to, and then you gotta go through the process of downloading and then putting it on your computer and all of that stuff. You ain't gonna have to do that no more. All right. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to a software called Descript. So this is the software that I'm talking about. That is a video editing software that includes all of the stuff. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my projects that I, you know, pretty much already have. It's kind of like a test so I can save you some time here in this video because I know you got stuff to do. All right. So now this is this is what it does. Once you upload your video inside of here, it's going to automatically transcribe. So you can see it transcribed over there. Everything that I said in the video. Now, from here, this is where I can get into adding a text or adding a graphic or adding something and even animating. And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So right here, it says tired of losing viewers too early in your videos. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add eye catching graphics. So at this point, I could put something that's related to that. Right. So what we want to do first to separate it is I would click here and then I will hit slash. All right, so you see I got that slash. Now from here, what I can do is I can go ahead and put another slash right at the end of eye-catching graphics. So I'm gonna do that. And then I will come here and click on media. Now when I click on media, what I wanna do is I wanna go right here to GIFs. And then I'll go to Giphy stickers. Now, what I like to do, like I said, I like to like make it somewhat related to what I just said. So in this case, I'm going to just type eye catching in to see if something pulls up for that. All right. So we got a couple of different options we could use. So we can have something like this. I probably wouldn't use that. I could use something like this because it's kind of like twitching. It's like, oh, man, something just caught my eye. It's kind of like that. Um, another thing could be, uh, let's see. OK, this one right here. Right. So you see how it's kind of like looking right. It, it speaks to the point like it's eye catching so what i would want to do is i would shrink this a little bit and then i would put this up in this corner right here or i could put it over here or i can even put it on my eyes to kind of create a little bit of animation and so from here i'm gonna just go ahead and put it right here and then i would just run it back to see how this looks how to add eye catching graphics. see how it just popped up on the screen now obviously you don't want something to just pop up on the screen without some type of sound effect so that way it can get the viewer's attention so so from here, what I would do is I would click on this just so we like still in that area. And then what I would do is I would add some type of sound effect. So all I got to do is go over here to audio and then I click on sound effects. And then from here, what I would do is I would do either the pop sound, right? That's one that I use, which is the message pop up social network, which is just like that, that sound right there. Um, and then I'll let you hear how it sounds. Okay. And then that's the audio. And then I'm gonna just play it. How to add eye catching. See how it popped up and you had everything going with it. Okay. So that's the first one I would do. And then right here where it says, so you can skyrocket your audience retention. So if I'm saying that they can skyrocket their audience retention, it might make sense for me to put up an audience retention. That's, you know, like extremely high, right? To prove the point. So in this case, I would be like, okay, right when I say skyrocket, it, I want it to pop up. So that's where I put my slash and then right here, sky, skyrocket your audience retention. Then I'll put this at the end so that way it moves off the screen at that time. So at this point, now I'm going to add a custom image in because what I did is I went inside my YouTube studio and I found one of my videos that had a good audience retention to prove the point to them. So at this point, I'm going to go to files. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on add files. And then from here, let me go ahead and grab the screen screenshot that I had from my back office. Okay, so this is it right here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click that and then I'm gonna hit add new layer. Okay, so you see it's right there, right? All right, so now from here, what I can do is I can put this right here like this and to make the attention really go where I want it, I wanna put like an arrow that points to this particular thing. So from here, what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna make sure I add me a red arrow in here and then I'm gonna go to Giphy stickers. I'm gonna type red arrow and it's a specific arrow that I like to use. You can see you got a choice of a whole bunch of different ones, but I like this one right here cause it's kind of moving and it's kind of really keeping their attention. All right, so about that big right there and I'm gonna kind of rotate this a little bit so it can be facing the 60.6 and then let's go ahead and go here okay there we go right there uh, I don't think that's perfect I think 270 will do it okay that's that should be good right there let me move it a little bit closer and that should be good right there now remember what I said earlier about you know you don't just want something to pop up you want them to hear a sound so that way it really catches their attention so in this case I'm gonna go back over here to media I'm gonna then go to audio go to sound effects and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the swoosh sound now all right so the swoosh is just when something just like slides in I'm gonna go ahead and click on it real quick all right, so now let's watch it. Tired of losing viewers too early in your videos? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add eye-catching graphics so you can skyrocket your audience retention. Okay, boom, that simple, right? So I feel like that part was very, very important where I said skyrocket your audience retention and I actually showed it to them, right? Because if you show people something early on, then that's gonna intrigue them to wanna watch even longer. That's definitely something you wanna keep in mind. All right, now when it comes to like animating stuff, this is where, let me, let me just, uh, add something here right here all right so what I'm gonna do first is since this already got the slash it's pretty much gonna be into the rest of the video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here I'm then gonna go to gif and uh, to show you you know what I think would be a good animation I'm gonna put like delivery trucks okay so maybe uh, I'm trying to look for a good one all right so maybe this one right here all right so boom so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this truck a little bit and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to animate this to drive across the screen, right? We're gonna see how we can, we can make it work. So we clicked on it. Now what we need to do is we need to go to animate. And instead of doing like a zoom or a pan or anything like that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a custom anim animation. So I'm gonna click custom. And now at this point, I can control this by using these keyframes. Let me show you these keyframes over here real quick so you know exactly what's going on. All right, so right here, you can see that we got this and we got this. So these are considered keyframes. So if we wanted to start right here and then end over here, we gotta first click this, have it in its position. So we'll have it like right here or something. And then we'll click on this second one and then we're gonna animate it to drive all the way over here. So now at this point, what I could do is I could say, okay, we already clicked our position. So I'm gonna hit exit animation mode. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just see if it's gonna drive all the way over there. My name is Raheem Madison. Let's get into the content. You see how it kind of drove over there and it just went throughout the process? That's how I animated it to do that. Otherwise, it wouldn't do that. Now, let's say I want this truck to drive a whole lot faster. I click on it and then I go to animation, edit animation, and then I bring these two closer. And what that does is it controls the speed at which it's happening. So I'm gonna exit animation mode again and then we're gonna click it and I'm gonna show you how it goes. My my name is Rakeem. Okay, so you see that went extremely fast. Obviously, I wouldn't want it to go that fast, but that's just to show you how to animate your stuff. So as you can see, it's very, very simple for you to just add graphics to your video and also animate it so you can actually make your video a lot more intriguing. Now, if you're satisfied with everything, you wanna go ahead and export it. What you wanna do is you wanna come right up here to where it says file. You then gonna click on composition. You're gonna hit export. Now, once you do that, you wanna pay attention to over here, right? So you got a lot of options. You can do a video, audio, GIF, all of those different things. Now from here, you want to go ahead and look at the resolution, which you can see it says 1080p. And then what you want to do from there is you want to just go here to where it says export, click export. Now once you hit export, you want to save the video file as whatever you want to save it as. And then you'll go ahead and hit save and you're going to be good to go.